he was one of the original American playboys, a magazine tycoon who helped spark a revolution, one that challenged the nation's views on sexuality. I have celebrated the romantic connection between the sexes, and that's part of what Playboy is all about. Hugh M. Hefner, who liked to be called Hef, was born in Chicago in 1926 and raised in what he said was a strict household by conservative Protestant parents. I felt there was something more to life than uh, the world I saw around me. In 1953, with just $8,000, the aspiring publisher produced the very first issue of Playboy magazine on the kitchen table of his Chicago apartment. The cover featured a photo of Marilyn Monroe and sold more than 50,000 copies when it hit newsstands in December of 1953. Hefner now had the funds to finance another issue, and the Playboy empire was born. Well, I have never really thought of Playboy as a sex magazine. I, I, what I've tried to do is create a lifestyle magazine for men. Hefner divorced his wife Mildred Williams in 1959 and during the early days of the magazine's success decided he would not only promote the fantasy he helped create, but he would live it as well. Audiences got a taste of Hefner's good life in an early 1960s television show called Playboy's Penthouse. Come on in and meet some of our guests. Having already established himself in Chicago, Hefner made the move out west. In the early 1970s, when Playboy magazine was selling 7 million copies a month, he made his permanent home at the now famous Playboy Mansion in Los Angeles. In 1989, Hefner uttered the two words many thought he'd never say again when he married Playmate of the Year, Kimberly Conrad. I do. The couple had two children, but separated in 1998. Hefner said he realized he was much happier as a bachelor. I am essentially a romantic, so... Uh... I think my life uh, uh, revolves and always has uh, revolves around women. Hefner continued to live out the Playboy fantasy even in his later years. Often seen in his trademark silk pajamas, surrounded by busty blonde lingerie clad women while hosting extravagant parties with celebrity guests. He even returned to television in 2005, this time sharing the small screen with three live-in girlfriends in the reality show The Girls Next Door. In the late 2000s, he began an on-again, off-again relationship with playmate Crystal Harris, 60 years his junior. They tied the knot on New Year's Eve in 2012. Hefner sold his beloved Playboy Mansion for $100 million in 2016, on the condition that he be allowed to live there for the rest of his life. Playboy and provocateur, Hugh Hefner wanted to make the world a happier, sexier place. What's your definition of obscenity? Racism, war, bigotry, but sex itself, no. What a, what a sad and cold world this would be if, 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 if uh, we weren't sexual beings. I mean, that's the heart of who we are.